So, welcome everybody to Astro Joe's Astro Adventures. This is basically going to be me recording and documenting my astrophotography adventure. And I was hoping maybe some of you guys would follow along and watch what I go through. I'll also be giving some tutorials and, you know, just some how-to type videos on some of the equipment I get throughout the years and um, even some brief rundowns on some of the equipment I had or some of the stuff I bought that wasn't as useful as I was hoping it was going to be when I bought it. Now, it's really easy to see somebody on an astrophotography video using a piece of equipment and think, hey, I bet that would make my astrophotography so much better if I also had that equipment. Well, that's not always the case. And hopefully by kind of showing my experiences with some of this equipment and showing some of the mistakes I've made, I can help you not make the same mistakes. Now, this isn't going to be the most high quality astrophotography channel, but I will do my best to bring you as good a content as I can possibly make with my very minimal experience in photography and also with computers in general, uh, which means editing software. It's like learning a new language to me right now, but I will eventually learn to get better and hopefully the content will improve. For now, I just have a short little video that I made on the stock editing software that comes with Windows and that just gives you a brief glimpse of how it was when I started and how I kind of progressed in the small amount of time that I've been doing astrophotography. Now I have a lot better equipment and <clears throat> I'm currently waiting on a mount that is going to greatly improve my astrophotography experience uh, and the quality of the photos because I'll be able to track the night sky better. And one of the things that I sort of missed, even though I'm sure I heard it said a hundred times, is that one of the most important things about an astrophotography setup is the mount and how well it tracks. You can have an uh, old garbage scope and as long as you have a really good tracking mount, you're still going to produce results and decent results because a lot of the cases it's less about the quality of the telescope and more about how precise you collected that data through that telescope and you know had I known that in the beginning I probably wouldn't have made a bunch of the mistakes I made so hopefully this will sort of I don't know if you follow along with the channel give you a good idea of the do's and the don'ts when it comes to getting into astrophotography all right here's the video Thank you. 
maybe just hit the like button and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe, uh, turn on the notification bell. It really helps on uh, getting my videos noticed by other people and that would really help me build upon this channel as I intend on making this something that can really help people in the future when they're deciding, hey, I want to do astrophotography but I don't know where to get started. Maybe they can look back at these old chronicles and see, you know, this is how he got started. Maybe I can follow some of the basic steps that, you know, he showed in his videos. So I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Clear skies.